While in my blog post, I provide a broad overview of how a SENS analytical framework can be used to analyze the Atomi game, Cinderella Phenomenon's participatory elements, I wanted to specifically focus on modifications within Atomi games and the way they affect gameplay and interaction with video games' participation elements. In terms of actual mods to the game, I could only find one for Cine Cinderella Phenomenon that was the unlocker mod for the gallery and music room. I also found a mod for the sequel to Cinderella Phenomenon which allowed you to play the game on Android. From what I could see, it was no longer functional. The unlocker mod for the gallery provides game users with access to content which would otherwise be inaccessible for the majority of the game. Overall, I think the lack of modifications is due to the lack of interactivity within the game. From my personal experience, most of what the player does while playing the game is clicking through each scene and the occasional selection of choices, which is supposed to set you up for a certain target. Through this format, I didn't really feel like any stakes were involved where I needed or wanted to use cheats or mods. As such, I could naturally identify the Cinderella Phenomenon, Phenomenon mod was an example of participatory media culture as it didn't allow players to interact with the game in a new or substantial way.